Welcome back Commoner fans. In today's video I'm going to merge a basic and machine language program into a single program file that can be loaded and saved normally. To review, machine language programs are typically loaded in two ways. First you can load it from disk, which takes minimal space in your basic program, or you can use a basic loader, which reads the bytes from data statements and pokes them into memory. This method is okay for short programs like this plot routine, but a longer program would use more memory in the form of data statements and take longer to load. I'm sure almost all of us has, at one time or another, spent hours typing in numerous data statements, such as this example from Compute's Gazette magazine. Let's go through a quick overview of the steps needed to merge a basic and machine language program. A basic program resides in the memory range of 2048 through 40959. This is the famous 38,911 bytes free message you see when you start the computer. Basic programs will typically start at address 2049. A machine language program that is used in conjunction with a basic program normally resides outside of the basic program memory area. The two common locations are the tape buffer, which starts at 828, and the 4K of free RAM located above BASIC starting at address 49152. What we're going to do is move the machine language program into the BASIC program area starting one byte after the end of the BASIC program. Then we set a new start of variables address that is one byte after the end of the machine language program. This will effectively merge them into a self-contained program file that won't need a load command or data statements to get the machine language program into memory. The program I'll be merging today is one I created that simulates a large number of coin flip and dice rolls. This is what it looks like while it runs. It uses both basic and machine language routines for speed. I'm not going to do an analysis of the program itself. I just want to show what it looks like when it runs so that we know that it is working after it's merged. Okay, first we need to edit the basic program. I'll load my favorite programming utility called Basic Aid. This is from the book Computes Machine Language Routines for the Commodore 64. All right, now that Basic Aid is loaded and running, Let's load the basic program, which is called fr00.bas. First we'll get the start of variable address pointer by peaking addresses 45 and 46. This contains the address of the start of basic variables and also marks the end of the basic program address. We'll note this value down for later reference. Let's examine the first four lines of the program. Line 20 contains the start address of the machine language program. It is currently set to 49152 and it will need to be changed, but I don't know what the new address will be yet, so I'll come back and change it later. Line 30 is a wait message and line 40 is the basic loader that pokes the bytes into memory. These two lines won't be needed anymore, so I'll delete them. The data statements start at line 720 and you can see they take up a large chunk of the program. These also won't be needed anymore, so I'll delete them too. Now we have a much smaller program. Let's get the start of variable address again, which is now 3539. This will be the new start address of the machine language program. We have removed 1,009 bytes, almost 1K, from the program. Now we can go back to line 20 and put in the new address. If you're like me, it was natural to delete the first digit and type in the smaller four-digit address. But by deleting that digit, I've changed the size of the program and the start of variables address pointer. So let's go back and check again. And sure enough, it is now one byte smaller. No harm, no foul yet. But from this point on, do not. I repeat, do not make any change that will add or remove bytes from the program or else the start address of the machine language program and the start address of the variable storage pointer will be changed. Okay, with that out of the way, let's make a note of the new address. 
We're finished with the basic program, so I'll save it with a new name, which will be fr01.base, and set it aside for now so we can head into Terminal Macro Pro to edit the machine language routine. First I'll load the source code, which is called fr00.a. And again, I'm not going to go through any code analysis. All I need to do is change the starting address to 3538, which is the new starting address as I just previously determined. Once that's done, I'll generate an object file named fr01.ml. On the assembly display, we have another number we need to note down, and that's the end address of the machine language program, which is hex 0EAA, or 3754 decimal. That's it for Turbo Macro Pro. Let's reset the computer back into BASIC and merge these two programs together. Here's the directory list of what we've got so far. We're going to merge the fr01.bas and fr01.ml programs together. We start by loading the machine language program fr01.ml. Be sure to include the comma 1 so that it loads into the correct address. Then type new to reset the basic program pointers and load the basic program fr01.bas. With that loaded, everything is now in place. We just need to set a new start of variable pointer address. First, let's check the current value. 3538, that's correct. Let's calculate the new one by taking the end of the machine language program address, add 24. I'm adding 24 because the machine language program uses an additional 24 bytes to store its totals when running. And finally, add one more byte to give us 3779. That's EC3 in hexadecimal. As a quick side note, if your program didn't need storage space or use some other location, you would have only needed to add one byte to the end of the machine language program. OK, we're almost done. Let's enter the monitor and list the contents starting at address 45, which contains the address for the start of variable storage. You can see it still has the original DD2 address, so let's change that to 0EC3. First the low byte, C3, then the high byte, 0E, and return. That's it. Everything is now in place and set. Let's save the merge program now so as not to accidentally change anything. This final program will be called Flip Roll. Okay, with that done, let's go back into the monitor and list the bytes around the end of the basic program and the start of the machine language program for a visual verification. Here is byte 0DD2, which is 3538 decimal. This is the start of the ML program, and we can see it is preceded by two zeros, indicating the end of the basic program. Now let's disassemble starting at address DD2. And there is the machine language code, so everything seems to be okay. Let's reset the computer and see if it all works. Now we load FlipRoll, just like a normal basic program, and check its listing. The listing looks normal, so let's run it. So far, so good. The clock is running, and results are accumulating. I'll let it run to completion to make sure the clock stops, and to see the final results. OK, looks good. Everything is running as expected. So what have we accomplished? What are the pros and cons? We'll start with the pros. Number one. We now have a self-contained, combined basic and machine language program that's easy to load and run. Number two, it saves memory and disk space. Here are the savings from today's project. I saved 769 bytes of memory and three disk blocks. That may not sound like much today, 
but in the 8-bit world, every byte counts. Number 3. No load command or data statements required. And 4. It's sort of a copy protection, as the combined program is not very easy to alter. Now for the cons. Number 1. It's tedious to create a merged program. One mistake in any of the addressing and the program will fail. And 2. The program is difficult to change once created. You'd have to tear it apart, edit it, and then recombine the code again. And that's all I can think of for right now. If you have any additional thoughts, please leave me a comment. Well, that's all for today. Thanks for watching, and let's be careful out there.